You know, I'm fine with old man Joel. I feel bad that half his skins are him younger. All right, let's see if we can get a bloater. I guess I'll go top tree. For unstoppable and maybe firearms. Give it another chance. Oh, geez. Invisible enemy infected holdout. Oh, fuck. I just... <laughs> oh, that's gonna be rough. But I'm willing to try. I wonder if grab headshots count as headshots. <laughs> let, me, let me see which one's active. Okay, all right. This is gonna be... This is gonna be interesting. Now, at worst, I don't. I don't need to be too overly paranoid if if I have to defend myself with a melee attack or something. So be it. Play it safe. I'm not gonna do the grab headshots. I'll just shoot them one at a time, you know? But I do think Naughty Dogs is coy enough to be like, yeah, if you grab an enemy and headshot them, that counts towards the headshot only challenge. You never know. Sometimes you expect a lot out of the developer and they let you down. Did they even make it all the way up? Oh, there they are. I don't even know if that was a headshot. <laughs> Ooh, right as I pulled the fucking trigger. The bombs make it so I can't confirm whether or not it was a headshot. Bodies are just too far gone. So slow. I think the one with the guns above me. Unlucky.
Awkwardly, Joel's revolver is so powerful, I could genuinely not be getting headshots and they'd probably still die. Dead friend over here, okay? Jesus. Headshots only. And I didn't do it in a super coy way either. I'm gonna take this. If I can, if I can upgrade it really early on. We have a lot of durability. Complete an encounter without missing a single shot. I can, <laughs> I can make that happen. Okay. What do I have to start with? Ooh. Okay, good start. You know what? This works out too, because I'm pretty sure the tree I was going to go on includes firearms. So that kind of seals the deal even more. Not that I need incendiary bullets for the Seraphite Elites. I'm really surprised we haven't gotten, like, an anthology series out of the Last of Us series yet. It's such a big, easy setup. For them to just be like, oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna follow the story of some random person. As they try to survive in the apocalypse. And they can just keep doing that. They can be like small little games, repeatedly. Oh, <laughs> 
this is awkward. Uh, I didn't know it was gonna let me do this while there was still an enemy lurking around. Yeah, it's funny that, like, it's funny how many studios are sitting on, like, what I feel are, like, story landmines. Or gold mines, not landmines. Uh, story gold mines! But we still just get, like... Almost, like, the bare minimum out of it. It's like, okay, we got, we got two games out of the Last of Us series and a TV show. That's more than many other neglected series, but oh my god. Like, I don't even have to play a story involving Ellie literally at all. I don't <laughs> You can- you could uh, make me some random fucking person. Anywhere USA or hell, show us what's going on in other places. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this trap mine recipe and the incendiary shell recipe. Save myself some supplements for the future. All right. We're gonna have to try and hard focus the, the no missing thing. I forgot until after I fired my first shot during that last encounter. I was like, oh wait, I'm supposed to be doing the challenge. And I think I literally only missed one, one shot. But who knows, maybe they'll See how many people are interested in No Return. I don't- I don't know how many people are, like, actively trying out this game mode. Um... Probably not as many as I feel should happen, but, you know, it, it is just kind of, like... A game mode attached to a, a remaster. Hey, another Miller Brother survival. Yeah, set enemies on fire using incendiary shells, and then I would get six shotgun shells out of it. Well, I don't think that's happening. Hmm, look at all this. All oh, right, they're invisible. Fuck. God, dude. Insane. This is fucking ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> 
We're getting an early preview of The Last of Us 10. Fucking infected involve. <laughs> They get active camo. I don't think so. Oh my god, dude. You weren't even the fucking intended target. Yeesh. That was awful. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm getting in the back. I'm gonna get those fries. You're not gonna stop me. <sighs> they were surprisingly really nice with that. <laughs> one clicker and one like slightly bloated enemy. That could have been far worse. Oh, hey, flamethrower, just in time for me to... <laughs> to get out of the place that would have been perfect for. What are my next things? Forest assault with Jesse. And then hospital assault. Oh, the time limit. I can make that. Hmm. I guess I'll hold off. Actually, it depends on how many supplements we get from this one. We get 35? Yeesh. Yeah, okay. We'll hold off. Although I could, I could get the stealth kills for faster. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. I just remembered the challenge uh, again. I'm going to do this so that I can kill all the enemies in stealth. And maybe I'll shoot, like, one enemy. Like, the very last one. In, like, a wave. Alright. Just in case. I didn't see which faction it is. I'm assuming it's WLF. Oh, it's Rattlers. Try and 
not miss a single shot. Down, I'm sorry. I know you're out there. Hey, buddy, that's a nice SMG you've got there. Shame I can't take it. Kill an enemy while holding another as hostage for a hundred flamethrower ammo. Fuck. I just did that! <laughs> I've been fucking robbed. stuff here sheesh I'll, I'll hold off on the med kit because I, I might fuck up who dares you all the way down there wow well they're moving into the building Taking a fucking year to get over here. I guess I'll drink some water. Sound off. They turn up yet? Nothing over here. Ah. Excuse me. some of this let go fuck it oh my god fuck it jesse hold your position man Two of you to be up here at once. I do want the flamethrower ammo. Anybody Fuck. see them anywhere? Nothing to report. I caught them by the car. <laughs> Move up! Okay, take it easy. 
I don't think I'm getting it this wave. That's alright. Better luck next time. And I can't forget to get this med kit that's up here. Uses duct tape. Shivs? Sure. I need to fucking hold somebody hostage, everyone split up! I'll sprint. <laughs> There's more than one way to attract their attention to a location. Got nothing. Got nothing but a dead, dead ally? What do you mean? But I get it, his dead ally was in the grass. Ooh, sprinting! Jesse, don't, don't, don't fuck this up for me, Jesse. All right, let me cook, Jesse. The fuck are they? Check the perimeter. Stay alert. They're dangerous. Urgh. Found you. Uh, no. Get off me. <laughs> I got what I needed. Whew. No miss shots. And my gambit. Hey. Self imposed limits are so intimidating.
I might have gotten a beat, but I got two things done in there. Tommy's challenges are complete. And now I just have to do... Well, I don't know what, what I have left in this run. But I've got oh, pipe yeah, bombs. Definitely worth the three -day ride to get here. <laughs> oh my god. Right, let, me, let me double check the board. We do still have one left. Assault combat in the hospital, I think. Hunting pistol. How much would it cost to get the damage upgrades for everything? Okay, the double bear shotgun's already good, so I guess I'm not to worry. The only thing that sucks about the flamethrower is it's not really great against human enemies. I mean, it probably is good, don't get me wrong. Setting somebody on fire is definitely one way to stop their assault on you. But, you know, when you've got like three or four other people standing in the back fucking shooting you with like bolt action rifles or revolvers and stuff. Uh, the close range flamethrower just leaves a lot to be desired, you know? Oh wait, I got a- oh, I hate the limited ammo shit. <laughs> I got a hundred ammo for my flamethrower, of which only 50 I could actually use. Ay ay ay. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me go into my tree here. All right. I need supplements. Let me buy them pills. More incendiary bullets. And better trap mines wouldn't hurt either. Okay. Oh yeah, we gotta be aggressive in this. One of the challenges is kill three enemies in one encounter with pipe bombs. So I'm gonna try and do that. Do I have the ability to craft pipe bombs? I do. Okay. Okay, we'll give him a second to push up. There they go. Fire in the hole! Wow. Watch it! It was a little personal. Fire in the hole! That wasn't really a stun as much as him just dying. Right. Oops. Where's my thing back there? I can make that work. I was trying to throw that a little bit further. 
I think you'll still work, though. I'm gonna heal myself now. <laughs> Everything hurts. I'll find you, Rex. I haven't moved. bombs just in case. I do sleep on the the pipe bombs a lot. I barely use them when I should use them a bunch. Gotta go! the wrong enemy to shoot in the leg. <whistles> Fucking plate bomb, idiot. Friend. Uh, too far to help you, I guess. I'm running to the drop box. Jesus. Pipe bomb to shiv? Perfect. Yeah, there's still a lot of stuff over here. It's my last chance to really loot, so I'm taking it. Do we have a melee upgrade? I don't. Oh, wait, fuck, there's a time limit, too. Fuck. Necessary, yeah, but I'm Joel. It happens. <sighs> All right, there's only one more challenge left for the Ellie Aligned characters. And that's, that's all up to RNG. Gotta fucking get to a bloater boss. Thankfully it's RNG that I can kind of like abuse by going in and out of, uh, I can just start a run, see if it's worth it, and then quit out. 
Uh, yeah, no, what I've got is fine right now. I don't really care for the crossbow. So I don't even think I'm going to bother to upgrade it. I'll throw a four time scope on the hunting pistol just for the sake of it. Okay, what else can I get from the shop? Hmm. Max out my flamethrower fuel. And I can get the melee upgrade recipe, nice. All right, fuck it, max out everything. Any other challenges that I could do as Joel? <laughs> yeah, it literally just comes down to Mel and Joel. Okay. Nothing to worry about for this one, I guess. Seraphite Elite. So this time, I'm going to not underestimate the bosses. I'm going to treat them like video game bosses, and I'm going to fucking put a bomb and walk away. Hell just hit me. I don't even know. We hear a pipe bomb. Get over the counter. Savage. I'm the savage. Whoa, look at that. You want to fucking throw fire at me? Okay. What the fuck? I need to get to cover. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? I found the boss. I didn't know she was in here. I thought she was all the way in the back. Now, can you give me a second to breathe? Thank you. Oh no, I'm so scared. I'm running. It would be a real shame if you jumped over the window to you come after run. me. If you don't, you're getting a worse death. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> it could have been almost instantaneous with the bomb. Sweatshirt Tommy, yeah. Oh, and Winter Tommy! Can't forget about Patrol Jesse. Is Jesse the only character I haven't played since the beginning? Uh, Yara too, I guess. I don't think I've played Dina either, but I've been tempted, so that's different. You have that? 
And then Tommy, you can get your your winter look. Yara, you can get the aquarium look. You know, it'd be cool if the skins that you choose for the different characters also apply to them showing up when they're like an ally. I haven't been like paying that close attention to what they're wearing, but I've got a good feeling that they just come in wearing their default outfits. All right, let's see if we can get a bloater run. I will literally just like <laughs> back out over and over and over again until until I see it. I'll do my best. Hospital basement. That's the Rat King. Waiting to main menu. Are there even trophies associated with no return? Hey, look at this. I fully upgraded all the weapons all the way back when the game first came out. Or maybe I didn't, actually.